Hi there, my name is Shannon Del Stott and I love improv. I've been teaching it and performing it for over 20 years and I am beginning to make these videos so that I can help you through your improv journey, okay? If you like the video, like it, subscribe to the channel and ask me questions in the comments so that I can give you tips and tricks to, to practice in your shows and in your troops. All right, the question that I got recently was, how do I create a believable character that is a departure from myself? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break those two, uh, I'm going to break that question up into two groups. The first group is how do I create a believable character? So what we're going to do here is an exercise. I want you to sit in neutral, sit in neutral, good. Relax your face, relax your head and shoulders. And now I want you to change your head's position. Once you've got it changed, keep it. Now I want you to change your face, okay? The position of your face, keep it. Now I need you to change your shoulders, okay? Keep it. Now I need you to change your hands, good, and keep it. Now, from this position that you're in, I need you to make a sound. What is the sound that this character, this body makes, okay? Make the sound. Good. And now what's the catchphrase that this body makes? What's the sound? What's the catchphrase? So if I were to do this very quickly, it might look something like, uh, hmm, and my face, my shoulders, and my hands. And then I would, uh, my noise might be, <clears throat> that's my noise. And then my catchphrase might be, not today. Today isn't the day. There it is. <clears throat> today isn't the day. All right, so <laughs> that is that. Today isn't the day. This, today isn't the day. Great, and that is one way we can make a character. We can create a character. Now, if you're standing up and if you're using this uh, within a troop or uh, in a class, you wanna go through your whole body. So you would change your hips and change your legs and the way you walk, okay? So that is part one of creating a believable character. Part two of creating a believable character is choosing a want. So what does your character want? What, what does this guy want? He probably wants something like, mm, 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 family. <laughs> yeah, he probably wants family. Something, something. I think that's what he wants. And if I can hold on to that want and hold on to that physicality, commit to the want, commit to the physicality through the whole scene or through the whole show, whatever it is that you're doing, then you will have a believable character. That's how you create a believable character, okay? Choose a physicality, choose a want, commit to those choices through your entire scene or show. All right, the second part of that question was, that is a departure from myself. How do I create a character, a believable character, that is a departure from myself? So this part is an interesting part to me. I need the departure from myself is going to come out of creating the character, right? That's the visual part. If you create a character that walks and talks sort of like this, this is not how I walk and talk. So it's automatically a departure from myself. Great. It's, it's excellent. I feel so good. <laughs> it's automatically a departure from myself. But I want you to keep in mind that any character that you create is going to be a part of you, okay? Any character that you create is going to be a part of you. And when you create a character that is a part of you, because it's going to be anyway, this is what the audience is looking for. You are doing discovery on stage in front of people. Let me say that again. You are discovering yourself on stage in front of people. That is what an audience comes to see. That is why an audience comes to see you do improv. They're coming to see you discover that you can do this right in front of them. Why? Because you in that moment are being your most vulnerable. Yeah? Ooh, scary. Yeah. But that is what improv is. When you are vulnerable, on stage, creating a character, you are creating a relationship between you and yourself, 
a relationship between you and your partners and a relationship between you and the audience. And that is why people come to see improv. They come to see you create in a moment. It's also why people do improv. You come and do improv to learn vulnerability. And that vulnerability comes out this way. <laughs> but sometimes it comes out this way. Or sometimes it comes out this way. Things that you didn't know you were going to do on camera. Hmm. Hashtag. Hashtag didn't know. Hashtag vulnerability. Hashtag improv. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, like it subscribe to the channel, and again, ask me questions in the comments so I can help you on your improv journey. Happy improvising.